at Jaholix. How are you doing today? I'm uh, repainting a piece I've done already. Uh, it's one of the first screenshots from uh, the game Another World, or Out of This World, as you uh, probably know it in the US. Um, and I've actually painted this before, but I wanted to repaint it and do uh, proper commentaries on it. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm setting up my uh, my sky background at, uh, for this, and uh, I wanted to make it slightly more deserty than the previous one. Um, the, the other one was a bit cold, um, and the original is cold, but I, I wanted to make this one a bit warmer. So I'm putting a slight um, bit of, uh, of uh, Naples yellow to mix with my um, light blue, um, just to give it a warmer tone. Um, so I've done my background sky, I'm just going to darken some area to, um, to um, give the impression of uh, clouds. Now, I, I'm not doing anything too, um, too deliberate, too precise, I'm just uh, dabbing my, uh, my brush uh, into my sky with you know, a mix of either darker blue or lighter blue. Um, there's actually strands of um, of clouds disappearing disappearing in the distance uh, into the uh, horizon on the right hand side. So I'm uh, I'm putting those already, and I'm blending then with uh, a larger brush every time I uh, add a bit of detail. I just reblend it back um, because the the sky is not so much the focus of the piece. Although I'm actually going to detail it a bit more than I would usually. The idea is to give the uh, sky an impression of scale and, and distance. So what I'm doing here is like I've put areas of darker blue and I'm contouring those with uh, a lighter blue. Um, so essentially blue mixed with a bit of uh, tiny bit of pure white. I know I've said before not to um, use pure white for mixing, but uh, in this case um, I find it just gives the I find it gives the clouds a, a pure sort of feel, uh, as if they were indeed just made of of just small particles of water which they are essentially but um, I don't want any dark clouds um, the place is not meant to be foreboding or, or it just meant to be slightly different and overwhelming in a way so uh, but very similar to our own earth so um, so the sky is indifferent it's just bigger and wider and, and uh, on a different scale probably cleaner and pure as well so but anyway so I'm just using uh, um, pure white for that now you can see I've uh, I'm happy with my clouds at the moment. I might go back on them afterwards, but um, then it's time to put my horizon. Now typically you want to put your horizon line either one third or two thirds down. Uh, if you put it uh, one third, uh, two thirds up, sorry, um, your sky would be indeed very small, but it allows you to create more detail and uh, and uh, a sense of scale of the ground. If you put it further down, uh, obviously. Um, uh, you, you're giving the emphasis to the, uh, or you're giving more space to the sky, uh, and what that does, it just creates a sense of scale. So that's what I'm doing. That's the typical standard uh, for paintings. You don't want to put your horizon line uh, right in the middle of the piece because it it, it makes things uninteresting and sort of flat. Um, so by having it lower than the center line, about two thirds, you play around that uh, two third, one third line. So at this stage I'm happy with my clouds and I started making my uh, my uh, mountain layers and just uh, using the same process I've described before, you know, making it uh, darker and darker as I uh, go forward to uh, into the foreground. Except this time you can see I've made my, uh, my background one uh, just a bit too dark, it's too dark a blue. And uh, and the other ones are actually lighter, so um, I will go back over it. I'm just finishing my uh, mountain ranges here just to make sure um, everything is exactly where I want it to be. And um, I'm I'm gonna go back on my blue and just make it slightly lighter afterwards. There's no rush. Um, so right now I'm just focusing on the uh, actual composition. So I'm just blocking my areas with one color. I'm not adding any detail anywhere yet. Uh, I'm just putting shapes down and blocking areas, just uh, working on the composition instead of uh, detailing every every layer I go um, I go through. I think at this point I realized that my blue is too dark in the back, so I'm, uh, I'm just going to go over um, go over the entire shape and make it a bit lighter. Uh, it's probably still a bit too dark, but uh, I, I think it, it still works. At least value-wise, we're, we're closer to um, what we should have. What I'm going to do now is just um, I lightened the bottom of that of that layer just to uh, separate it from the, the previous one. Um, if you make a mistake and you you don't have your values correct, <coughs> adding that white foggy sort of feel is is one good way to correct that, and it'll help delimit your layers properly. And uh, that way they'll pop out against each other. It won't feel flat. 
but right now I'm just adding detail. So what I'm doing is I'm using that Naples yellow and uh, uh, mixing it with the uh, the color of uh, of each layer. Uh, because I've used that Naples yellow for the sky, uh, I've, I've sort of said that this is going to be my highlight, um, and it's I think it's very subconscious, but it, it, that's how it works. Um, uh, if if you use at least a tint uh, for your highlight, you have to use that tint sort of everywhere. Kind of makes sense; it's reflective light. And uh, for the foreground element. Um, I've used uh, diluted uh, the same blue as the back, the, the sky, and I mixed uh, pure black into it. And again, I'm breaking my rules, saying you shouldn't mix those pure colors. But uh, this is strictly for effects. What I'm doing is I'm mixing those those two colors, and uh, um, and dilute them. Um, and uh, you can see the rock formation isn't exactly uh, um, uh, perfect and uniform, but it's just uh, I incidental. Sometimes the blue shines through, sometimes the dark shines. It's not intentional, but uh, uh, it's the way it, uh, it just naturally happens. And it's a cool effect to have. Uh, and now I can work on the, uh, the cave uh, elements. For this, I'm using a lot of black, almost pure black, tiny bit of blue. Um, and. Uh, still diluted but not as much and you can see the difference they're pretty much the same color the uh, how much I, I diluted them in water is the difference and uh, this way it sort of connects the two layers but uh, you can clearly see that one of them is is lit by the uh, by the uh, the sun uh, and the other one is very much in the shadow or, or at least the, uh, the sun doesn't reach uh, on onto it uh, from this angle so it just gives you an, a sense of angle and and, and space and scale uh, obviously that darker rock at the back is is further away uh, even though they're pretty much the same color uh, yeah it's funny again funny process funny trick and then i'm just using a, a, a burnt sienna brown um, again diluted and uh, some van dyke brown for the for the ground and i'm i'm, I'm not doing any anything specific I'm just going very loosely and just adding a bit of uh, of, of water just to again dilute and mix them and then from here I can work on the highlights on my uh, on the rock formation at the back uh, again I used the Naples yellow and um, this time a tiny very very small bit of uh, burnt sienna just to give it that pinkish sort of uh, sort of haze so um, because we can't see the sun and it looks like the um, the, the light is coming from from a low angle uh, either the sun is is very bright very low or or it's sunset but it's a cold sunset uh, it's something different something odd uh, you know um, it, it gives that feel that it's it's another world it's another place but not that different but different enough <laughs> from our own earth and then i just add the uh, the details uh, like the uh, the monster the creature and the little slug things and uh, some uh, flowers and and uh, and uh, sort of blades of grass uh, on the foreground i'm just doing them in pure black uh, i'm also adding some environmental effects uh, like a tiny bit of uh, of sort of dust and fog what i'm doing with this is i'm using a, a hard brush and uh, putting a tiny bit of paint and then scraping most of it on the, on the either on paper so there's very little left on the brush and then i just scrub that brush into the painting so it just gives that dusty sort of feel and uh, foggy sort of uh, stuff and it sort of blends every layer uh, together and then uh, i'm just adding the uh, red and the yellow eyes And just as I thought I was finished, I actually realized I hadn't done any detailing on the uh, on the columns and the uh, stalagmites and stalactites. So uh, I'm just doing that, just using a bit of the uh, same blue as the, uh, the light blue, actually just a bit of the light blue from the sky, and just putting some small detail. So um, with that thing, you don't want to put it everywhere, just a few, uh, a few places here and there. What it does, it just uh, naturally suggests shapes and volume. Um, and it sort of happens naturally, which is a, a cool little technique. But anyway, that's uh, our painting done. Thanks for watching.